Welcome to Sacred Wandering with Kira Brinton. My friend, this is a corner of the world where time stops, where the noise in our minds quiet, where we have soft hearts and we open our palms and we ask. This is a place where we receive. I invite you to join me as we wander through the sacred together. Welcome back to Sacred Wandering. I want to invite you to come and sit with me. Sit with me in this prayer corner this morning. A place where time will stop. A place where our minds get to be quiet. And where we get to soften our hearts and open our palms to receive. I want you to imagine that there is this beautiful divine light that we can call upon. It is a light that exceeds the brightness of the sun. It is a light that darkness cannot exist within, around, below, or above. It is a light that heals We're going to take a nice deep breath in and we're going to breathe this light in through the crown of our head. And as this light moves down through the body, it is going to cleanse us all the way down to the cells of our being. So we're going to breathe this light in. You're going to allow the light to move down through the body, through the center column of the being all the way out through the soles of the feet. Let's do that again. Allowing the light to move down through the body, cleaning all the way down to the cells inside of us, letting go of anything and everything that is not ours, anything and everything that is weighing us down, Allowing it to drop off of your body like sandbags from a hot air balloon. (sighs) There we go. I want you to imagine that this divine light, we can work with it. So we're going to ask this light to touch the walls, the ceilings, the floors, the doors, the windows, and anything and everything that's in the room that you are in. That the room that you are in will be cleaned, cleansed, and cleared that it will be activated to the highest vibrational frequency, the frequency of miracles. I want you to breathe in. The new energy within you, within the space that you are in. And today we're going to call in all of our angels and our guides in and through this divine light to come and sit with us that we may be able to be held in the space of safety. Also, so that we may know that we are not alone. So often it feels that as we walk, we walk our paths alone. But we have a whole spiritual team who is here, willing and ready. And all that is required is that we ask We ask for their support. We ask for what we need. So today we're going to invite them to participate with us as we are in deep inquiry with God so that we may be able to be in the highest realms of receiving. So today, the message that I'm going to read to you I invite it to move into your being, allowing it, allowing it to speak to your soul so that whatever the message is, you receive a message that you need. So I'm going to pick up my prayer book. I'm going to read to you one of the messages that I've received in my prayer space. When we walk through the sand, our feet get dirty. When we walk through the mud, filth isn't the concern. It's impossible to really move. Don't worry about getting dirty. Just acknowledge the movement. See your gains. 
You'll never be perfect. Just keep showing up. Hmm. Let me read that one again. When we walk through the sand, our feet get dirty. But when we walk through the mud, filth isn't the concern. It's impossible to really move. Don't worry about getting dirty. Just acknowledge the movement. See your gains. You'll never be perfect. Just keep showing up. Mm. I love this message. I love this message because so often we want to be perfect. We want to do everything perfect. We want to create the perfect business. We want to be the perfect parent. We want to be the perfect partner. We have these wild expectations for ourselves. And I love that this message, when it came to me, I had found myself in the a whirlpool of trying to get things right and perfect. And this message was a reminder, like your feet are just going to be dirty. So just walk <laughs> and notice that every time, every time, I find myself in the whirlpool of perfection. It is like walking through mud where movement is impossible. And it's weird that when you're in mud, you're not worrying about the filth. You're worried about being stuck. So there's a practice of noticing our gains that allows us to receive more gains. Every time we see our wins, we see more wins. This is the focus today. The focus today is to not look and see where your feet are dirty, where you are doing things imperfect, but instead notice your movement. You may not be perfect, but you are moving. You are here, my love. You're here in our prayer corner. You are moving. Even if you feel like you're not, you are. And I want you to see that for yourself. I want you to really acknowledge who you are how far you have come and the passion that lives within you. Even if your passion has been a bit watered down, I promise you spend some time here and your passion will get activated because that is my role. My role is to activate the passion and the light within others so that we can all rise and do the work that we're here to do. But we didn't just come down here to take a nap. We came here to move mountains. We came here to make a difference. We came here to be our truest, most divine self, which is sometimes hard. Isn't that interesting? That our truest, most divine self is sometimes hard to be. And the only reason is, is because we have been conditioned to play small. We have been conditioned to be quiet. We've been conditioned to follow the rules. And your divine self says no to all of that. Your divine self wants to expand past the boxes, past the parameters of safety and perfection. Your divine self wants to move. So here... As we come into our prayer place, our prayer corner, we get to notice, how does my divine self feel? Hmm. How does it feel when I allow it to take up space inside of me? How does it feel when I attune to the frequency of God? Movement, movement is what I want you to notice. Do not notice where you're not doing things perfect. Notice your movement. And as you do so, you will begin to move at the speed of light. And this, my friend, this is where we get to play in the realm of miracles. So today, I see you. I see you. I honor you. And I know, I know you are moving. Hmm. I feel it. So here we are in our prayer corner. We're going to ask to receive. 
So today I want to invite you to ask for a particular thing. I'm going to invite you to ask God, what is the number one action that you need to do today that is going to keep you in movement, that is going to keep you in action? Divinely inspired action is how we collapse time. Action itself is not, it's not actually the thing. It's divinely inspired action that moves the needle. So we're going to take a nice breath into our hearts. I want you to imagine this golden, this golden honey. We're going to breathe it into the heart. We're going to let it expand throughout our hearts, softening and softening. This time we're going to breathe that golden light in. It's going to move through the heart out through the arms and down to the palms, softening the palms so that we can open them to receive. I'm going to invite you to ask God to show you what your number one most important action is today. I'm going to be quiet while you receive. Now, whatever message you heard, I want you to write it down. And this action becomes your non-negotiable today. This is the action that you are here to take. We're going to wrap that action up in the vibrational frequency of the divine. That it may give you energy. That it may allow your feet to move. That we may put some fire in the heart. And that passion will pulse through your being. May today be a day of movement. May today be a day of momentum and of miracles. And I want to thank you for wandering into the sacred with me. And I will meet you right here tomorrow morning. My love. Thank you. Thank you for joining me in my prayer corner. Thank you for being a seeker. Thank you for being willing to have a soft heart, to open your palms, to ask, and then listen. But may I remind you that it is better to not ask than to ask and not do. So as you meet me here in the sacred, as you build your muscles of receiving, my invitation is this. Whatever you hear, you do. For it is in the space of deep faith and inspired action that we call forth miracles. And may we create the sacred here on earth through the miracles that we bring. <laughs>